welcome to Caribbean Insights. We have an explosion of Caribbean videos lined up for you. Tonight, you will be experiencing international artists displaying the cultural rhythms of soca, calypso, reggae, dancehall, and salsa. So relax, and let's take a ride down the Caribbean. And a band, you pay money just as the band start parading a hen's jamming tight with a Lego. Pretty little Yankee tourist. This is Denise Saucy while Bell Fun. And when I'm in New York, I watch Caribbean Insight. Yeah, yeah. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Please check Caribbean Insight. I am Ras Shorty I am a scientist, a musical scientist. I invented soca so that Caribbean people could have something to identify with wherever they go, any part of the world. All day, all night, Marianne. Who oh, is the camera? I am the Superman. Even little children of Marianne. All day and all night, Marianne. Yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. The folklore of the Caribbean is embedded in Calypso. And so every island enjoys the camaraderie of this cultural art form. There are more than 25 tiny pieces of paradise called the Caribbean Islands, which uses the element of Calypso for its everyday life. In this episode of Caribbean Insight, we are going island hopping, searching for Calypsonians in every neck of the wood. And believe it or not, our first stop is off to Antigua. When Columbus arrived on the island in 1493, he only stayed long enough to name it Antigua. It was a party of Englishmen from St. Kitts in 1632 who claimed it for the British crown and colonization began, which is the coming of the Africans. The first sugar plantation called Betty Hope was established in 1674. This once elaborate plantation still stands today. Antigua is the largest of the Leeward Islands with 108 square miles and a population of 70,000 people, of which 50% live in the capital of St. John. St. John pulsates with the rhythm of Calypso, Pan and Soca. Antigua can boast of the contribution they have made to the Calypso art form. Their Calypso Mona competition dates back to 1957. And by 1967, McLean Emanuel, AKA Short Shirt, had already won the title nine times. And so this king came to conquer the Calypso Mecca Trinidad with his tourist Lego. This had enough firepower, which had Trinidadians jumping and the rest of the island were wailing. It was the People's Road March in every country, even in Antigua, where he won the Road March title. All the Calypsonians in Trinidad could not sustain the wrath of the Antiguan king. So the CDC of Trinidad stepped in and constituted a new law immediately, which stated that only a Trinbagonian would win a national road march and monarch titles. And so the Lord Kitchener prevailed with flag woman. Short shirt introduced speed and it changed the Calypso art form forever. This is the amazing short shirt, Antigua's number one in the Calypso art form. You can hear them now, we hear back talking, saying how short 
Chucky backsliding He became a Christian a few years ago Now he gone back to St. Calypso They were taught to believe Calypso is a bad thing Country jazz and soul work God give him Other people's culture they appreciate him Why they own they degrade him Nothing wrong with the music The rhythm and the melody Calypso is part of our culture That I hold very dear to me So before you criticize what you don't understand Remember music is a gift from God to man So the only thing wrong with any song I say Is the message that the words I will never be, I don't have the education But singing Calypso is God's gift to me So don't you criticize my action I will use my talent to advise the children And the best ways to cope with today's problem I will sing to them about drug hate and crime To turn them back and keep them in line Nothing wrong with the music The rhythm and the melody But it's a part of our culture That I hold very dear to me So before you criticize what you don't understand Remember music is a gift from God to man So the only thing wrong with any song I say Is the message that the world by 1992, Shortshirt had won the Antiguan Calypso Monarch 15 times. No other Calypsonian throughout the Caribbean had done this fate. Antigua continued to thrive on Calypso. And in 1985, Rupert Phil, a.k.a. The Swallow, had already won this Calypso Mona four times and came to the head of the class with Subway Jam. It became the people's road march, not only in Trinidad, but up the Caribbean and in New York as well. As a matter of fact, whenever you think of Labor Day, you think of Swallow's Subway Jam. Caribbean family, Antigua gave us Rupert Fell, known as the Swallow, another master of the art form. I am not a born and bred Trinidad, yeah. Nonetheless, I'm bound to give you my honest opinion. Years ago, Trinidad had blessed him. And so is the soca. Groups are popping up 
all over the island and adding their creative taste to this soca genre. One of the groups in the forefront is the Burning Flames, who has won the road match title 12 times. You guys remember Worky 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 1989. There is no other group or person who holds more road match titles, not even our own Kitchener. Here is a taste of Antigua's number one soca machine, here on the only place where West Indian culture is alive and living. You ready to walk up past West? Come join with me, my shop this fed. And if you come here to carry on, put your hand in the air, rock in the air, rock in the air. Just show your hands up in the air. I'm with the mic, you just don't care. Jump like you're going out your mind. Cause it's evil big time, you'll be fine. Start to wipe, wipe, wipe. Antigua continues to make its mark on the international scene and we know Calypso is alive and well. You are watching Caribbean Insight, the only program that informs, educates and entertains you. Pick up the phone, call your friends, call your neighbors and let them get in the mix. And I'll be right back with much more. Greetings from TNT. I am Tigress. This is the original dance master. This is Marshall Montana. I'm Brother Valentino. This is Marcia Miranda. Caribbean Insight. Yes, I watch them all the time. They're bad. Caribbean Insight. Really is dynamite. Caribbean Insight. Really super. Was spite. Caribbean Insight. Enjoy day or night. Caribbean Insight. When Christopher Columbus came to Grenada in 1498, he found that the Carib Indians had already inhabited the island. But by 1783, the British occupied the island. The quaint historical city of St. George's, which is built on the steep slope of a lovely natural harbor, known as the Carinage. St. George's is a city that combines colonial architect with winding, elegant streets. This is where the action in Grenada's 120 square miles with 93,000 people who believe that Trinidad Carnival was heavily influenced by them. Due to the Catholics that resettled in Trinidad with their slaves, who celebrated as they did in Grenada. Grenadians can boast of the greatest Calypsonian in the world, Francisco Slinger, who was born on their soil. Today, Grenada is a haven for Calypso, Pan, and Soca. King Ajamo won the Calypso Monarch title six times from 1987 to 1995 and he placed Grenada on the fast track to the international market. TV family, this is Edison Mitchell, AKA King Ajamo, taking the Mecca by storm on the international scene. Other young Grenadians were coming up, like Squeezy, Randy Isaac, Scala, Inspector, and Beast. But it was the soccer advent 
when Grenada rose to the international recognition, when Mr. Talpri walked into the Mecca and had Trinidadians jump in to his old woman alone. To my soccer crew from Boston, Long Island, and right here in New York, this is the people's soccer king from Grenada taking Trinidad by storm with old woman alone. We're gonna watch everybody if he be mad People jumping up and down and getting a like they mad Ah, what a woman in the sixties local and abroad Tell me who go carry them home when they get tired What a what some young fellas there before last year To carry all the man home the quick quick to volunteer I can carry no loom and no more than if you thing What are they carry them up? Can you do it? Jump it! All the man is in the room How is that? Two years well, I've been singing for wild Indian. All them jab jab vex with me, they want a jab jab song. I hope the critics can go have cruel intention. All of my we take in so tell them the judge me wrong. Well, you want to order that you like they do unto you. I just remember that one day you will get told to. So just put yourself in and tell that it was a show. And then go 50, 60, 70. All of my take you. Oh, we go. All of my take you. I'm your Well, TV family, this is the place where Caribbean history and culture flows. And you don't know that I'm Lady V, keeping it alive out here. So, in the meantime, take a step to the refrigerator, get something to drink, pick up the phone, call your friends, and when we come back, we'll be stepping off to the island of Cuckoo and Flying Fish, Barbados. This is Shalane Hendrickson Thomas. It's me again, the Ivan. Hi, I'm John T. Hi, my name is Kevin King. This is Ramraji Prabhu. Keep tuning in. It's the best Caribbean soccer program right on, and it's happening. Love you. Stay away from drugs. Love up the soccer. Caribbean inside. Caribbean inside. Caribbean inside. Please check Caribbean inside. It was in 1625. John Powell, the commander of a merchant ship, returning from a trading voyage to Brazil, landed in Barbados and laid claim to the island in the name of the King of England. Still known today as Little England, the island can boast of its never-changing hands by colonial superpowers. From tobacco to sugar, 
Barbados hosts most of the sugar plantation homes in the Caribbean and its crop over festival dates back to the origin of the sugar plantation. <laughs> Barbadians have been experimenting with the calypso rhythms for a long time. The merriment of the early 60s was blending calypso rhythms in a quintet fashion and in the 70s they found a rhythm called spooge. In the 80s Gabby came to Trinidad with government boots and it changed the Bajan concept of Calypso forever. Gabby went on to dominate Calypso in Barbados for years and has won the Monarch title more than any other Bajan. Well TV family, let's meet and greet another master of the art form from Barbados, Mr. Gabby himself. Tell me what is happening to the young generation They're complaining They've been working So they're robbing And they're killing People running From the stabbing continued to earn international success. The camaraderie continued to develop within the Calypso tents. And Red Plastic Bag, on many occasions, had made his contributions to the art form. This needed international attention, but it was Mac Fingal, teacher, comedian, Calypsonian, who came to the Mecca and had the Western Hemisphere jumping. I ain't dancing with no 
is alive and well in Barbados. But Barbados continues to make its presence felt on the international soca scene. Some of Barbados' top soca artists are Edwin Yearwood from Crossfire, Rupee, and TC, which are just a few. But Square One with Alison Hines, has the Caribbean and North America bubbling. Let's get a taste of Barbados number one soca band, Alison Hines and Square One. I find myself in a cube van, yes, with a sexy Moroccan man. Hey, can't remember my husband's name. Could not remember my husband's name. Because the iron and is over so I am a Mesopazoni, 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 I
gave it all to Caribbean people. You are watching Caribbean Insight, the number one in Caribbean history and culture. Listen, move to the refrigerator, get yourself something to drink. Pick up the phone, call your friends, call your neighbors, and when we come back, we'll be going to the Met. I'm the Lord Kitchen. This is Rootsman. This is Sunel Demsa. My name is Winston Bailey, better known as Shadow. This is Calypsonian Squeezy. I watch no other but Caribbean Insight. Caribbean Insight. Columbus came to the island in 1498, but it was the British who acquired the island in 1797, making Trinidad a part of the British Empire. Trinidad, the birthplace of Pan, Calypso, and a bird called the Flamingo. It is here, my friends, where the first road march competition was in 1932. King Radio won the first title. In this same place, the first Calypso competition was held in the year 1939. The Growling Tiger owned this first crown. And so our road march competition is 70 years old. And some of the big winners in that time is Lion, four times winner, from 1935 through 1938. Tambu won it three times. Sparrow, he did it five times. My boy, Blue Boy, seven times. But it was Alwyn Roberts, the Lord Kitchener, who won this title 10 times in its 70 years of existence. This is the Grandmaster of the Art Form, the Lord Kitchener. We come from a country district all the way up north. We hobby is playing music and drinking fish broth. We come from a country district all the way up north. Sometimes we just play music without any broth. We weathered the storm under pressure, then decided to form an orchestra. But the convoy said, we must try again. We do cream to come for the Spain. They tell me so You can't treat them Go back to go What they don't know The pan is sweet And the crowd just go For the talk of me It is because we found the country Yeah We have no musical background 
if they should just look up their history, they know that we terribly strong. Physically, musically, oh God, to go by, to go by, coming down, it's coming down, and we have we planned, have we planned, have we planned, We're ready for action in all competition. But now they are saying we shouldn't be competing. All kind of excuses, they can't stand the losses. Forget to mention, we have no fun yard, no kind of accommodation, we really have it hard. For most of the time we gather alongside the sea, and having to practice under a coconut tree. Oh God. But that hadn't stopped perseverance, no hazard disrupt our performance. So all who say we can't be fun, I know they want. Nothing with his band Can't be fans They tell me so You can't revan Go back to go What they don't know We pan is sleep And the crowd just go For the toko beat They think because we can the country Yeah Have no music all back Ay, 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 ay If they should just look at their history they know that we terribly strong Physically, musically Oh God, Joko Ban, Joko Ban Coming down, it's coming down How we fly, how we fly Mash up down, mash up down Going to shake, going to shake Savannah, Savannah And even take, and even take from Toko, they done up tomorrow, we ready for action, in all competition, but now they are saying, we shouldn't be competing, all kind of excuses, they can't stand the losses. I want to thank you Kitch for all the great music that you have given, not only the Caribbean, but the world. The Calypso Mona competition is 63 years old. And there is no other country in the universe that can boast of a competition that lasted so long. In the 60 years of this competition, Attila the Hun won it twice, in 1946 and 1947. Western Rollins, the Crow Crow, won it three times. Kelvin Pope, the Mighty Duke, held this title four times straight, from 1968 to 1971. Hollis Liverpool, the Chalk Dust, and Leon Kalis, the Black Stalin, both won it five times. But the Calypso Emperor, Francisco Slinger, who was born in Grenada and never entered any of Grenada's competitions, won it. While Kitchener and Sparrow was enjoying the admiration of the Calypso competition, there was a young man all the way down in South who was experimenting with the rhythms of Africa, India, and American soul. This young man coined the phrase and developed the music that we hold today as soca. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Ras Shorty Eye with his latest invention before his untimely death, 
Jamo Music. The brother Raj Shorty I for his contribution to this musical art form that's coming out of the Caribbean. Well, the journey now starts and everyone have a significant part to play, even you and I. On this episode of Caribbean Insights, we only had time to touch four islands out of the 25 islands. So, the next time we go island hopping, we're going to be stopping off in Jamaica, in Guyana, St. Vincent, St. Lucia, and we're going to keep chucking across the island. And you, my fans, and my critics, I'll see you next week, same time, same place. God bless you all.